The Holy Tales. Today, I am going to tell you the story of Bartholomew. But, tell you what? <laughs> it is Bartholomew. Oh, Bartholomew. Now I get it. Then let's not waste any more time and begin with his story. Bartholomew Nathaniel was another one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. And he was the son of Talmai, who lived in Cana of Galilee. Like the other twelve disciples of Jesus, he too had an apostolic symbol. And his is the symbol of three parallel knives. Bartholomew was a missionary from Armenia. And he was one of the twelve disciples who came from royal or noble blood. His father was Talmai, the king of Geshur, whose daughter was the wife of David and the mother of Absalom. Bartholomew was probably not his first name, but his second. His first name is considered to be Nathaniel. Jesus often referred to him as the Israelite in whom there is no guile. Bartholomew was a great researcher of the scripture, and he was also a great scholar of law. He became a huge follower of Jesus and soon completely surrendered his life to Jesus and was one of the most adventurous missionaries. Bartholomew went all around the world, preaching with Philip in places like Phrygia, Hierapolis, and also in Armenia. He established the Armenian churches and died a martyr. Bartholomew died as a martyr for his Lord, as he was flayed alive with knives. Many scholars say that he probably died in India when he went to preach there. I do not like those bad men who killed the twelve disciples of Jesus. All right, Freckles, all right. Don't get angry. Did you not like the story? Of course I did, but... Let's not think about all that. I hope you enjoyed the story too. The Holy Tales I knew you'll be here soon. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of John. John Wanerius was the younger son of Zebedee and Salome, and the younger brother of James the Elder, who was also a disciple of Jesus. John was one of the most beloved disciples of Jesus, and like his elder brother, he too was a fisherman. John lived with his family in Bethsaida and Capernaum and later in Jerusalem. He went around the world preaching his master's doctrines and also went and preached in the churches of Asia Minor. After John became a disciple to Jesus, he wrote the Gospels of John 1, John 2, John 3 and Revelations. Once. John was banished to the Isle of Patmos as a prisoner for preaching in the name of Jesus. Later, he was freed and he eventually died due to old age. John was not only a man of action, but he was also very ambitious and held no tolerance for unfair or selfish people. John was very close to another disciple named Peter and they would often be sent together for ministry work. But it was John who always stood out and acted as the spokesperson of the band. As years went by, old age caught up with him, and he soon forgot all about his ambition. All he remembered was the Lord's command of love. John once wanted to take his own life, by drinking poison from a chalice. 
But the Lord spared his life for all the good deeds he had done all his life. He finally died of natural causes, and the chalice with the snake became his apostolic symbol. That was the story of John. I hope you children enjoyed it. Oh, yes. We sure did. That was quite an interesting story. The Holy Tales Today's story is about Simon the Zealot. Zealot? Who's a zealot? Let's listen to the story and find out. The Zealots were one of the little-known followers of Jesus, who were also known as the Canaanites or Zealots. The Zealots also lived in Galilee, and Simon the Zealot was one of them. The Zealots were fanatical Jewish nationalists, who completely disregarded the suffering and struggle involved for what they regarded as the purity of their faith. The Zealots had immense hatred for the Romans, and it was this hate that destroyed the city of Jerusalem. Josephus records that the Zealots were reckless people and were zealous in good practices. Not much personal information is known about Simon the Zealot. But from the background of the Zealots, one can understand that he was a fanatical nationalist. He had immense devotion to the law and bitter hatred for people who dared to compromise with Rome. Yet, Simon emerged as a man of faith. He gave up all his hatred for the faith he had in his master and the love he was willing to share with the fellow disciples and especially Matthew, the Roman tax collector. There was a time when Simon the Zealot would have killed anyone in loyalty to Israel. He became a man who understood that God will accept no forced service. Simon the Zealot, too, died as a martyr, and his apostolic symbol is a fish lying on a Bible, which indicates that he was a fisherman who later became a fisher of men through preaching. That was an interesting story indeed. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you all enjoyed the story as much as we did. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.